大家好，我的名字叫 Kenji， 欢迎到我的频道 Kenji's Garage。Okay, I'm joking. This episode will be in English, but today, like I said, part two of part one. I'll put a link on top for part one. We will be doing the Dino Run on the iDrive. So let's see how iDrive actually works. So we are at ATM Chip Tuning in Cape Town, and these guys have very kindly allowed me. To use their dyno, obviously I'm not going to use the dyno, but <laughs> Damien is going to assist me in doing the dyno runs.、Um, yeah, so thank you,、uh, thank you, ATM Chip Tuning. Check their workshop out. Okay, guys.、Um, so this is Damien and this is Renato. He's just—he's quite tall. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> These guys are the owners of ATM Chip Tuning in Cape Town. Thank you guys for assisting me. That's a huge pleasure.、Um, so look, we—I know that iDrive is not really something that tuners like because it kind of gives the perception that the car doesn't need a tune. Yes. You know, with it on, it's going to be wow, so much more power. Course. But obviously, like I said in my previous video, it doesn't change the boost, doesn't change the timing, doesn't change the feeling. So technically, you're not getting any more kilowatts, or you're not getting any more torque. Yes. Am I right? Correct.、Yeah. But we are here today to actually see what the iDrive can actually do,、yeah. what what it does on、mm. on black and white. Yeah. Am I right? So what would you suggest us to do, you know, today with this?、Uh, um, This thing.、Um, so, from my understanding of the way it works, is it obviously changes the throttle curve. So instead of having a linear throttle curve that increases as you put your foot down, yeah, it actually opens the throttle sooner. Yeah. So instead of your bucky feeling like it's got a long pedal where、yeah. it only starts, you know, really going after 50%. Yeah. You move that 50% forward.、Basically. Forward. Yeah. yeah so yeah. you require less throttle to get moving.、Easier. To get moving. So、yeah. what we should see is that the graph would be come on sooner. Come on sooner. Yes, yeah. Correct, yeah. Okay. So, so the power will be shifting from I don't know three thousand RPM to maybe two. Yes. Yeah. So、um, what I think will happen is at a wide open throttle,、um, a wide open throttle run from low RPM to high, you won't see a yeah. difference. Yeah. Yeah. However, we might. It might come on a little bit sooner. Where we will notice the difference is at part throttle. Okay. So if we do a fifty percent throttle、yes. with the thing off and fifty、yes. percent throttle with it on, okay, you should see a big difference. All right. Okay. So, Hopefully. Okay. So what we're going to do today is obviously、um, we're going to put something in between the accelerator. Yeah. So it will hit fifty percent only, <laughs> <laughs> and it won't、uh, go any further. Yeah. Because the control. Because、so、any further would be pointless. Yes. Because we're not we're not going to get more kilowatts. We're、yeah. not going to get more torque. Correct.、Yes. Um, but we might be surprised. Yeah, just basically maybe putting maybe everything. Maybe ten more, ten more.、Yeah. <laughs> If you do, that'll be awesome. <laughs> <awesome, yeah. laughs> no, but obviously、uh, it's impossible. I mean, you're not changing、yes. any variation on the engine. Yeah, yeah. Um, but it's just going to give us black and whites、yeah, as to what's going on. White, so actual data. Correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah.、Uh, which is another thing is、uh, I got some questions obviously on 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 YouTube.、Um, is that does this affect warranty? Obviously, anything you put on the car affects warranty. Okay. Yes. All right. But. This thing will this thing log something in the ECU? No, no. But no. it is a it is a physical component that you can see. So if、yeah. you are so take it off. Take it off before you go in for、yeah. services、yes. or any warranty claims. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Great. Okay. Cool. All right. Let's get on with the video. Okay, guys. So we've started with the dyno. So what I've done, so what we've done now is we kind of like, you know, stop the, what, stop the throttle. Yeah. So I'm only getting a limited amount of throttle travel.、Yeah. I can literally only do that. Yeah. That's it. And that's perfect. That's good enough for、yeah. our test. Yes. 
over here we're in eco mode and so when i go f flat throttle that's all we get so we are only at 9.41 percent yes throttle opening position and yeah, i mode. pushed it a little bit harder but that's 10.5 yeah more. yeah yeah and then if you put it into the ultra mode, mode the same amount of travel on the throttle and this let is let me what just zoom get. in quickly okay here we go yeah I don't know if you want to see there, okay. That's 81% throttle. 81% throttle. From the same travel on yeah. the pedal. She's like it. Yeah, so that's what it does. Now we want to see what we can show on the dyno. Yeah, yeah. put the aircon off. Maybe make more power. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, four. So I'm going to start the dyno run. Oops, we shifted down to third again. Get back into fourth, there we go. But oh, doesn't want to. It's so little throttle that it doesn't want to stay there. <laughs> okay, wait, and get a bit higher. Okay, there we go. Start the run, put flat. We are 10% throttle. Put flat 10% throttle only. That's crazy, and it's barely picking up. Yeah, and he can okay, either car barely moves. Um, how do I go higher? Uh, let's try six, maybe. Yeah, set. Set. Yeah. Okay, let's try six. Okay, let's try six. Okay, let's see what throttle it gives us. 14, that's better. Okay, 14% throttle. If I go a bit harder. Okay, I can't go more than that. Okay, I'm gonna do the run. Okay, so at eco mode, nine, it gave us 10% throttle. Yeah. At yeah. eco six, gave us 14% throttle. Yeah, so it keeps adding throttle. So the lower the number of the eco, the more throttle you will get yes, yeah. okay cool that's a confusing thing that i also had <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> 18.8 kilowatts 18.8 kilowatts so at Eco 6, 10% throttle, 14% throttle, you get 18.8 kilowatts. At 50% throttle, yeah, position. Yo! <laughs> Alright, so it does work. Yes. The Eco works. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to do factory mode. So it's set to dash dash. The factory mode is on. So what does it give us at that throttle position? 23, 24, 24.7. Can't go more. Can't go more. Okay. So that's 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 actually our baseline. baseline. Yeah. Yeah. Because I'm actually giving 24%. Yeah. 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 So at E6, from the rating from the factory 24%, yes. we're getting only 14%. 14 yes. So 10% less at yeah. E6. Straight E9. Okay. <laughs> now we're going to go Ultra 9. Yeah. U9. Check. <laughs> this is basically full. Well, after you just tap the car down properly. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> okay, this is going to be. I have a feeling we're going to get close to maximum throttle here. So I'm going to start the run. Okay, so this is Ultra 9. Okay, 3, 2, 1, go. Was it? 80. 80%? Yeah. 80%. It's the same distance of travel. 80. So 25% throttle translates to 80%. Jeez, like it. Let's do a standard dialer run and see how what the bucky is making. Okay, so that's the, that's the power of the standard run. 
Uh, this dyno does give a lower reading than the other dynos, but every dyno is different. But what we're doing here is actually not to actually see the power because I'm not doing a flash or I'm not doing a tuning. Um, we just want to see if the ultra mode and the eco mode does have any difference. So now we've got a baseline um, with the graph and now we're going to do the other two runs and then we're going to check and we're going to chat and discuss about the difference, if there is any difference. Right. So <coughs> that's, that's iDrive 4. Okay. So, so that's a full throttle base run in fifth gear. Okay. And also guys, this is not flywheel power. This is wheel power yes, on wheel this power. dyno. That's why. So flywheel power should be around about 132, 135 kilowatts. Yeah. 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 Okay. So yeah, so this is accurate more yeah. or less yes. to what the factory has told us. Yeah, we're more worried about the difference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The figures. Four's not lying. Yeah. Good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we've now seen the, the baseline. Yeah. And um, this is the eco one over overlaid. Once again, 100% throttle. Okay. And you can see that the eco one takes just a little bit longer to come on to boost. Ah. But they're both full throttle. Yeah. And there's no difference. Okay, across. so we took away the block. Yes. And we went full throttle. Full on throttle. This. All right, yes. great. So you can see, so the black line is the eco. It does come later on. Yes. The power. It does. You can oh, feel okay. it as well. Great, great, great. And then ultra mode, the highest ultra mode. Okay, what color is what? So the baseline is red. All right. And ultra mode is black. Oh wow. And it's... you can actually see that. I put my foot wow. my foot down very quickly in in all three scenarios, but the ultra mode still makes it come on quicker. But quite a substantial amount. Yes. Quite a big amount. Yes, yes. that's a, that's a substantial. And a 0.6 kilowatt gain. Yeah, you, you probably exactly. you're, looking at, <laughs> you're looking at it coming on in a standard graph at 260 newtons. Yeah. Um, in your standard mode, and then about 295 um, in the ultra mode. Well, if, if you look at it down from here. Yeah. So let's let's say hypothetically that is one seven RPM, one thousand mm. seven hundred. So in um, the standard mode, we're reaching um, three hundred newton meters at one thousand seven hundred, and in ultra mode, we're reaching three hundred newton meters at say one thousand six hundred. So it's definitely coming. So hundred RPM sooner, you get three hundred newton meters. So you're achieving yeah. that point. Yeah. 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 But then obviously they all remain the same. No matter if we overlay all three of them, they're all the same power. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. we're not changing, like we said, yeah. we're not changing the timing, the fueling, or, yes. or, 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 or you know, the yeah, just the sensitivity. You know, just the, the sensitivity on throttle. Yes. And then you know, now we can actually see that yes. it does work. Yes, 100%. It does work. And you made a, a good few points about the eco mode during off-roading making yes. your throttle more predictable and smooth yes 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 like yes, yes, so. yes but uh, obviously i mean i think that would be my next video trying to you know between e1 and e7 yeah nine is just terrible yeah <laughs> I, I wouldn't try i wouldn't try overtaking <laughs> e9 <laughs> oh i probably wouldn't even get over a little pebble yeah but, okay but like uh, yeah. between e1 and e7 that will be good for off-roading yes yeah. um ultra mode um as you can see power comes on quicker it's yes. good for overtaking it's you know yeah okay there we have it yeah. guys good that's result. it that's good results <laughs> um okay guys we are done with the video. Um, this is good results. We do see the difference as well. Um, I hope you guys like it. Please like the video, subscribe. Uh, give me a comment down below, uh, you know, whatever you think of this whole process um, and if you have any questions as well. Um, and if you would like an iDrive as well, ATM shifting will be, um, should be, starting also uh, uh, stocking iDrive. So guys, check out, the check out their website on the bottom. I'll put a link down. See you guys next time. Cheers.